Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about a GPS uh, very quickly. How to use it, how did I set up, and I recommend to use it. So stay tuned. First things first, you need to actually add GPS to your vehicle, which you can do in the workshop by going and customizing your vehicle and add GPS right here. Unless you have my custom version, which is automatically on your track, so you don't need to do nothing and get that from my Discord. You can do the workshop or you can do it in the shop workshop. Press R button, customize and add GPS. Once you have your GPS installed into your tractor, you will have a little, three little icons right here. At the moment, GPS are off, so your icons are gray. To turn it on, you need to press the left Alt C, and then your icons appear. In the key binding section, your GPS is under GS, which stands for guidance steering. Many people get confused by GPS and can't find GPS. It's not GPS, it's a guidance steering. And this is your default buttons. I, the way I set up, I use my mouse and I'm using side buttons, the top button for Alt E and uh, the bottom button for Alt X. Alt E is set to the point A and then B and the Alt X activates to go straight line. So now we're back in the track that we're going to have GPS activated by pressing Alt C button on your keyboard. Remember the key bindings I showed you earlier. So we're going to start the tractor and we're going to start setting up the point A. You can press Alt E, which is by default key binding for GPS. And you need to drive forward 15 meters. 15 meters if you go if you don't go far enough and you're trying to try to create point b it will say you didn't go far away drive at least 15 meters so you drive 15 meters and here we go the a point disappeared that means the line is created we cannot see the lines activate the line by pressing a left hold l and here we go we have line created okay let me show you that again quickly so we're going to the point we want to go up in here pressing button activate a drive forward and thank pressing again and the line are created remember you will never see the b because it immediately creates the line but as you, as you can see this is far too wide far too wide you press alt r which, which is for some reason ain't working for me though pretty sure it's control r is alt r out of it So I changed my key binding from Alt R to Control R as for some reason after game update some key bindings don't work. Thanks, Giant. And now I'm using my mouse button, the bottom mouse button, to activate tractor to go straight line. Remember, once you activate it, you're not allowed to steer, especially if you keyboard driver, any tiny bit touch of key and you will completely break off. All right. So, just recap. We're going, we're setting point A. We're driving forward. Setting point B. Line down. Activate. Point A. 15 meters forward. Point B. So now we learn how to set GPS. Now we need to learn how to save it. Default key binding is left control S. 
warning do not use this part of gps if you have custom buttons set or your the uh, guidance steering use just this to save it i already have one saved but you can just save cultivator 2.4 meters and save it the next time you use the same tool you can use it on the other tool and you can rotate and you can rotate whatever direction you want okay snapping at 90 degrees thank you guys i hope that helps and i will see you on the next video i went out